On today's Unbox and Swatch, we are going to be looking at the Daniel Smith Blues uh, set of six hand-poured watercolor half pans. Please be sure to subscribe to Jerry's Autorama's YouTube channel to see future Unbox and Swatches. Uh, this set is a really interesting set that focuses on their unique blues. And on the sides, they have colors, uh, the colors listed. You see here, you have Soda Light Genuine. Sleeping Beauty Turquoise Genuine. Now some of these color names you might not have uh, heard of, but there is a color chart inside with the pigment numbers. Uh, it might be a blend, it might be a single pigment. Lunar Blue, Indigo, one of my personal favorite blues. Cerulean Blue, Payne's Blue Gray. Now because these are hand poured uh, and you might be used to seeing um, mass made watercolor sets that are perfectly uniform uh, across the board. All the pans are the same height, same size, same shape. Uh, the hand poured does a couple things. A, it adds a little bit of, um, well, I just call it character to some of these sets. And also it um, means that the, the pans are not being, for lack of a better word, fluffed to be made even because pigments uh, have different densities. And you'll see that on the inside, before you even open your set, there is a card that says I'm unique that basically explains this, that everything has been uh, undergone multiple rigorous quality control processes and only passes if it meets our strict standards for both volume, density, regardless of the fi final shape. So volume and density are um, the most important thing. And if you see on another set that they're all even, it could mean that they're adding things so that they get that equilibrium, which uh, Daniel Smith does not, which is always a good thing. So I'll remove this card. There's the adhesive for that. And then also, because we're doing a unboxing, I should take everything out. They include in all of their sets um, this paperwork. It has a color chart on it of the colors that you'll be using. I believe there is a color chart of uh, everything in their ultimate mixing set. And uh, also you'll see here a little bit more information about their hand poured process. So a lot of good information that comes along in the box. All right, so let's set this aside. Now this is the set. It's, it's lightweight, it's small, very convenient um, for travel. One of the things that I've noticed about their colors are there's usually a little bit of tack to them, even when they're completely dry. This has been in the box for I don't know how long, weeks if not months. Um, so the fact that they still have that tack to them means they should pick up really nicely. You'll also notice that this is a set of uh, 15 total pans and nine of them are empty. Now these pans are removable. It's not just an empty box or actual pans. And that's really terrific, especially for a set like this. This is a very special set for people that are obviously looking for unique blues. But not everybody wants to complete an entire painting just in blue. So these empty pans are going to make a great space for you to add the colors that you want to accompany your blues. So if you want to take your art to go, because this is so compact and a, and a good size, uh, you'll be able to add up to nine colors and keep it all in one case. So let us go ahead and swatch these blues out.
All right, so you can see here, this is a, a nice collection of blues, some, some light blues, some dark blues. Also, uh, pay attention to the granulation, how it kind of breaks up. This is like a trademark of Daniel Smith, where the colors kind of slowly start to, to break up a little bit. It makes a really nice effect. Um, and you can see here, these are some really deep blues. I'd be curious how these mixed um, with other colors. I would imagine that these two might look a little similar on camera, but in, in, in person there, there is a difference, a distinct difference, and probably be more um, dramatic if uh, we were to mix color, but today we were just unboxing and swatching. If you're interested in this set, I highly recommend uh, putting together a little travel set for yourself. All you really need is a watercolor journal. This is our uh, Reflections watercolor journal. It actually um, has a really nice cold press watercolor paper, lies flat, and has a pocket in the back for whatever you might collect on your adventures, and a little sealer. So you take that. I also like to include if uh, you're an urban sketcher or you want to have um, just a, a tool, we have these super black it's a light lettering and calligraphy set, but they do a really great job of doing different line weights, which is really convenient when you're on the fly. And then I'm actually going to make two different kits. Uh, one is just going to simply have this Aqua Stroke Go. It's a water brush pen. Really uh, a nicely done water brush pen uh, in particular. I'm, I'm a fan of these, the Aqua Stroke Go. And then I'll also do another kit that instead of the water brush, will include the Mimic Kalinske travel brush set. Now this brush set is actually really really nice and comes in this nice leatherette case and includes four different sizes from size 4 to 12 and this is a, a real full-size brush that fits together tightly, it feels good and balanced in, in your hand, and then takes up very little room, that giant number 12 brush, and that's it. That's all you need. That's all you need to, to travel and do art. And don't forget you have those nine empty half pans in this kit that will allow you to add any more additional colors that you might want. So the Daniel Smith Blues set of six hand-poured watercolor half pants. Thanks.